So now that we've built out all our three flows, I think we're just about ready to summarize the challenge. I did want to point out, though, that um, the last use case that I gave you of the account notes updating uh, all the opportunities, the flow builder is not the only way to do that. I, I really wanted to show you that awesome functionality of the flow, just being able to update related records so that you had it in your mind and can use it in the future. There's definitely other ways to get these account notes field uh, down to show on the opportunities. And I'll show you one now, um, just so that you also have this in your in your toolbox so that you can at least compare and contrast options when you're building flows in the real world. Um, so this is pretty simple to set up. Let's uh, navigate to an account here and we'll click open the little gear icon and we can press edit object. And so this will open up the object manager and we can click on buttons, links, and actions. And then we can click new action and the action type will be to update a record. The label will be, um, let's call it update account notes. And the success message will be uh, account notes updated, exclamation point. And we'll press save. And then we have the option when we're creating this action to define a page layout for the action. And in this case, I'm going to remove every single field except for one. And that will be the account notes field. And so all these fields here, because we're on the account object, are pulling from the account. And so therefore, uh, the account notes field is one of the ones that we can pick. So we'll save that so that our action um, just has the account notes action. And there's a little message there saying one of the required fields is missing, and that's fine. Once we have this action set up, I can close this tab. Um, close that out and I'll navigate back to an opportunity. It doesn't really matter which one and we'll click the gear icon again from the opportunity page and we'll press edit page. And so this will open up the lightning app builder and once it loads, always takes a second, um, what we can do here is we can go and use that action in order to update the account notes without using a flow. And so the way to do that is we uh, scroll down here and you can see that this um, component called the related record component is available. So we'll select that. I'm just going to drag this over to the far right hand side um, just so we can see it kind of in action. So what we have to do here is define this um, related record component. And so we, we give it a label, so we can say update account notes. And you can see that um, we get to change or use a lookup field here. So we could decide, hey, we want to update this current opportunity. But because this is a related record, we want to find a record that's related to the opportunity. And in this case, that will be the account. So I'm going to edit the lookup field. And from the dropdown, I will select account name, which represents the lookup field to the account. We don't have to worry about the second lookup field because um, we're not looking up anything on the account. Like we don't need to go to a grandparent object. We're, we're fine just going to the parent. So I'll press done. And what this will do is populate um, actions that are available on the account. And this should kind of make sense as to why we already created an action. So by default, Salesforce has provided us with the update account action and the new account action. And what we'll do is we'll just click the little X icon on the update action, and we're going to select the update account notes option. And you can see that our account notes populates right here. Um, we could leave the create action here to create a new account. I'll just remove it. I don't think it's required, and I don't want to confuse users by giving them uh, the option to create an account here when all we really need them to do is to be able to update the account notes. So we'll press save. And this saves that related record uh, component onto the opportunity page layout. And so if I press back, you can see that uh, the related record component pulls in the uh, account notes field right away. And this is actually the same account notes field as the one on the account. So it's right here. So in our flow, we're taking the account notes field on the account and we're updating a separate field on the opportunity called account notes. The component that I just showed you 
works directly on the account notes field. And so uh, the cool thing about this is we don't need any automation to populate this field. You can see that it's just populated automatically. Further, if a user from the opportunity ever wants to update the account notes field, uh, you immediately have that bidirectional, quote unquote bidirectional. You're really just showing the account notes field on the opportunity, but it seems as though you're updating uh, the account notes and then it's you know cascading up to the opportunity level. So for example, if we change this, we could say the company designs devices and those devices are mobile phones. You know, that could be an example. So this update action will go update the account notes field at the account level. Um, and it, you're literally just typing into the account notes field. So it's just kind of showing you a field. Our flow is also triggered by that update, funny enough. So although you would probably never set this up in a real environment, we should see that updating this account notes field triggers our flow to run. And then the account notes field at the opportunity, which is a separate field, also gets updated. So let's press save. And um, you can see, and those devices are mobile phones. If we go back to edge communications and refresh the page, we should see that the account notes field is updated. And we do. And then if we go back to our opportunity, we would we could refresh and hope hopefully we'll see that the account notes field is updated. And indeed it is. And so this isn't really a flow builder, um, I guess, item or piece of knowledge, but I do at least want to make you aware that there's always several ways to approach a problem in Salesforce. And so this can be a really good tool if you are looking to kind of do a bi-directional sort of field sync like, like we kind of did in this challenge. Um, and I also wanted to just make it clear that the flow builder is not always the best solution for everything. I think in many ways, this uh, use of a quick action is actually uh, the better approach. Um, however, I was so excited to show you that being able to update related records that uh, this seemed like a good place to kind of put it in the course. So at any rate, um, you've now seen that you can do uh, this update with a flow by using the update related records component, and you can also do it with a quick action. So hopefully uh, both of those are now in your toolkit. And whenever you approach a flow building challenge in the future, you'll um, be able to decide which one works best for you. So thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to summarize everything we learned and wrap up this challenge.